More than 300 people walked the streets of Kuala Lumpur on Sunday in conjunction with International Women's Day. Holding playcards and signboards, the group gathered at Sogo Complex and marched to Dataran Merdeka. The event saw many speakers, including Ora Asli activists. Uh, I think uh, the diversity is what we should actually celebrate uh, and the fact that uh, we have come together you know, from all walks of life, women who are you know, differently educated, women who have different uh, opportunities. We have workers here who, who spoke about their issues. We, we still have, despite uh, 2020, right? 2020 for some of us felt like so long ago. But 2020, for many, many women are, uh, in Malaysia, they're still being exploited. They're, st they're still not being paid fair wages. So I think it's really important that we, we talk about uh, workers' rights uh, and we talk about the women that are being exploited because uh, it, uh, for, for too long they've been uh, denied their space to speak and denied their space to fight for their rights. I'm really very happy to also see uh, men come out and support uh, uh, women's rights and gender equality. And, uh, you know, they, they have given the space and the whole platform to us, right, to speak. So uh, I think that's really important. The group also listed seven demands which calls for an end to all violence on gender and sexual orientation, ban of child marriages, ensuring the right and freedom to make choice over their own bodies and lives, and equal pay. The other demands are for the enactment of the Gender Equality Act, equal public and political participation, as well as a call for a declaration of climate crisis and the formulation of a national plan to mitigate climate crisis. Women's Day is celebrated annually on March 8.